Good morning, Fancy Beauties and Bowls. It's your girl, Gina, and I'm gonna keep my voice down just a little bit today because my baby is upstairs sleeping, so I don't wanna wake my grandson up. So today's video is going to cover Kat Von D, and we're gonna cover our face with this product today. So I picked up color Deep Warm, and it's number 76. I love the packaging on this. I know I'm late to the party, but better late than never, right? So it's got this cute little um, cap on there to keep your makeup inside. So just pop that right off. And then I'm going to give it a shake and go in. And the reason I'm doing this um, makeup review is because there was such a hype about it and I wanted to get it at the time but money was tight you know how that is but yeah I just want to go ahead and pick it up share it with you guys because I know you guys like for me to do um, reviews on different makeup and things like that so even though it's been done to death I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it and there's a smell to it it reminds me of uh, Mac so if that bothers you you might not want to get it but it will go away, you guys know that. So right now the coverage is awesome. Only thing we gotta test is if it's gonna stay in place all day. And y'all know, already know, I'm on my way to work. <laughs> I was supposed to do this this weekend, but yeah, you make plans and the baby has something else in mind, so, ha, it is what it is. So it is 7.20 right now in the morning. I got an early start for work, which is awesome. It means I get to come home early and cook dinner. Spend more time with the baby because when I worked at 12 to 8, by the time we get home, I have to put him right to bed and uh, or you know, after the bath, and then I have to put him right to bed and then put myself to bed so. I work this shift, we get to stay up a little bit and have some time together. So the feeling I'm getting right now with this makeup is I don't even need to set this with my powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway. And I'm gonna use the Old Faithful, my Maybelline Fit Me Coilers. And I'm just going to set right under the eye and down the side of my nose where I catch the oils the most. And we'll go down the forehead just to tap it. And you guys know for work, I don't really do lashes, so I'm not going to do lashes today. I'm going to take my mascara, though, and uh, I'll see if I can bring them out.
It feels really good on the skin too. So that's all I'm gonna do today. Um, you know, I'll put my little lippy on, of course, and I'll be back in here around seven o'clock or something like that. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there and see if it held up, if it locked it in, if you should get it or forget it. All right, so y'all have a great work day today and I will pop back in here later on this evening. Have a great day. What's up Fancy Beauties and Bows? Welcome back to the channel. So we are going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on how I feel about the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. So just to recap, this is color Deep Warm number 76. And the packaging first off is super cute. It's protected in uh, a plastic casing. And then the little nozzle is super small. And then the cap is just like a little small uh, flower, if you will. Now, let's go ahead and get into the specs, okay? So, it's gonna give you a matte finish. And just to let you know, I just came in, I didn't touch anything on my face the only the only thing that I did do was um, fix my hair uh, just so I can look presentable for cam right but this is my face after I don't know what time I shot the video or when I finished it but I think it was like 7 30 so right now it's like 8 05 so that's a pretty lengthy time uh, to wear a foundation and I was kind of in a pit where I had to run back and forth for with it whatever but this is what it looks like guys so my oil is coming right here in my t-zone area normal uh, right in here down my nose and right up and through here and right on the sides of my cheeks so it's not horrible though even when I go to touch my face I'm not getting like product onto my hands matter of fact let's do a transfer test just to see where we're at with that so as you can see it's clean there's nothing on there and I'm just gonna blot one time I did get some transfer off on that one little spot there and then this is everything else okay so it's really 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 not bad this it actually reminds me of the last video that I did the um, cup girl stay mat or something like that you guys know what I'm talking about if you didn't see that video I'll go ahead and put it right here and you can also go ahead and click on that link up above and watch that review as well but it reminds me the transfer resistant part of it reminds me of that foundation now the color it's not a complete match for me because I did get some Sun over the weekend so uh, I am a bit darker than I was when I picked this foundation up so this is definitely my winter color but that's okay because I can go ahead and still use this for my summer months all I have to do is you know do a little mixing if I need to do some mixing I can do that or just the way that I highlight and contour and bring everything together so in my opinion and i think i spent how much was this foundation was it 50 dollars or something like that i will put that somewhere in the video for you guys as well but yeah it was not cheap you guys know this is a high-end foundation 
but I'm not disappointed. So if you were on the fence about this, go ahead and pick it up. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, I didn't, my face feels wonderful. Like I feel still picture ready. I, I feel photo ready at any given moment. So yeah guys, if you have tried this foundation and you liked it or you love it or you wish you never got it, <laughs> put that information down in the comments below so that you know others that come through they'll have a variety of opinions and they can kind of you know go from there and make a decision on whether they want to go ahead and get this foundation or not but as for your girl I love it so it did lock okay it did lock what I needed to be locked and again I did use my Maybelline to set my face I did not put the powder, you know how we've been doing here on YouTube, we've been putting the face powder on first before we put our foundation. As you guys saw, I did not do that step and I'm still, to me, I'm still flawless. So it is giving me full coverage as well. You can do medium to full coverage with this, but to me, I'm giving it full coverage because right up in here you don't see my flaws you don't see my hyperpigmentation around in this area either so yeah guys i give this a a plus plus and i give it four stars and i'm telling you yes sis you can go and get this ah, i got bars oh but anyway, y'all, let me get out of here because I got some more videos that I want to kind of put together. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. Mm, I'm not sure because, you know, my face is already done up and I kind of want to do these lippies. So, I may do it. I may do it later. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming your way real soon at a YouTube channel near you. <laughs> anyway, stay fancy. This is Gina checking out and as always, you know I love you with all my heart. Alright, see you guys. Bye.